the entrance antiphon. Behold, the Lord will come descending with splendor to visit his people with peace, and he will bestow on them eternal life. Good morning. Once again, we gather to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace, the grace, the love of Jesus, our risen Lord, of God, our creating Father, and of the spirit of holiness be with you all. Amen. And today we continue to uh, journey forward on this time of Advent, a time that has many, many um, colors to it, if you want. It's, it's a time of joy, it's a time of sadness, it's a time of expectation uh, for all of us. And uh, so we just thank God for all the wonders that God has placed into us and to, into all of God's creation. The church today has a memorial for uh, Saint uh, Damasius. Saint Damasius was a pope. He was a pope in the, well, the latter part of the fourth century. And he's noted for a few things. One, he was the one who said, from now on in the Roman Catholic Church, we will speak Latin. Wow, okay. Uh, at that time, there were two languages that were spoken most of the time. There was Greek and there was Latin. And uh, so the Eastern Rite uh, churches, in, who, who uh, were gathered around Constantinople, of course, they spoke Greek. And Pope Damascus was the one that said, uh, no, in this church, we're going to speak Latin. And that's how we got all of our ceremonies in Latin, which we all grew up in. Before the Second Vatican Council, everything was in Latin. And he also did something. He commissioned St. Jerome to translate the Bible into Latin. He translated from Greek and from Hebrew and the other ones, and it was uh, a lot of people didn't know uh, those languages anymore, so he translated all into Latin, and that became the, the central language that the church used uh, for uh, centuries and centuries. And so that was thanks to uh, uh, St. Damascus, who the church celebrates today. But we continue our journey in Lent, and we ask God to bless us and help us to prepare for that coming of the Savior, the Savior who was born over 2,000 years ago, but the Savior who is born so often in our lives each time that we open up our hearts in a special way to our creating God. And so we ask God to bless us all this day. Let us ask God pardon for our sinfulness as we join all the other people in the world who repent for their sins, whether or not they're baptized or not, no matter what religion they belong to, um, that uh, we ask God to pardon us of the sinfulness that is in our world, that we're part of. It's called a systemic uh, sinfulness. And so we're, we're one with a lot of people in the sinfulness of our world. And so we join in asking for pardon for all of us, that we all may be able to receive the graces that come from our loving God. Lord Jesus, you came to live among us. You were born at the time of, that we celebrate as Christmas. And we, you came to be part of us in taking on yourself our human nature. Forgive us our sinfulness. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you continue to be with us in our lives. You continue to show us the way to the light that you are for the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you said you would not leave us alone. You would not leave us orphans. And so you help us each day to find you and recognize you in so many different ways that we are and that we act this day. Lord, have mercy. And may indeed Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. In commemorating St. Uh, Damascus today, we pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may constantly exalt the merits of your martyrs, whom a Saint, uh, uh, Pope of St. Damascus so venerated and loved, through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity be, would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their names never cut off or blotted out from my presence. Word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will come. Go out to greet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now remember, as you listen to this gospel, that Jesus was having a rough time with the scribes and the Pharisees and and those who refused to listen to him. And um, so he has this strange little parable that he brings to us today. And uh, he said to the crowds, to whom shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in the marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not mourn. We sang it, we, the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge for you, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners but wisdom will vindicate his works. The Gospel of the Lord. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, someone's gonna wanna pick a fight with you, right? We've all experienced that in our lives, no matter what we go, no matter our good intentions and everything else, someone's always gonna look at the bad side as they see it. Not the bad side necessarily that is there, but the bad side as they see it. That happened to Jesus so often in his life when those who were uh, not open to God's goodness uh, could not see in Jesus uh, who he was and what he was trying to do. And those who did that, who were able to see that, those were the people who said, there's got to be something greater in our life than just what is going on at the moment. And they were open, a, able to open their hearts and minds 
and to the influence coming into their lives, especially through Jesus and his teaching, the thing he did, how he treated people, how he loved people, how he tried over and over again to get people to look at God uh, in a different way and get out of the boxes that they had placed themselves in through many years. Now in our first reading, which continues to come from the prophet Isaiah, still treats with the people who were in exile, uh, away from their own homeland. Uh, They were captives in a foreign country. And the prophet is bringing them what he hopes to be a source of joy for them. And um, he, he opens up their hearts by telling them that God will listen to them if they will listen to God. Now, it's always a two-way street. And uh, any relationship we have, those of you who are married, most of you here, you know how marriage is a, is a two-way relationship. There's a lot of give and take, but hopefully it's a give that is 100% and it's a take that is 100%. And that's how the relationship is built up. And with God, our relationship has to be the same. It has to be that giving of 100% of all that we are. Now, we don't enrich God in any way by what we do or or what we pray or how we live. We don't enrich God in any way, but what we do is we, we allow the fullness that God has put into us to shine forth for ourselves, for God, and hopefully for other people. But there are people who won't uh, uh, receive what we want to be able to give, and, and that's one of the crosses we have to bear in our lives. Now, as I was reading the gospel earlier yesterday and trying to look at what is the sense of this gospel, what do we understand when Jesus said, um, we're, that this, this generation is like the, uh, the children who sat in the marketplaces and they played joyful songs and people would not dance and they played dirges and people would not weep. Now, what is the meaning of that? Well, I think if we look at our own lives, we'll be able in a little bit to understand. Now, I want you to think back 60, 70, 80 years whatever you got, as far back as you can go, when you were a child, what did you do? You played like adults. You played as if you were adults. And and in in many of the, uh, almost all of the civilizations in our world, there were two things that gather people together. Um, and, And there are two important moments in the life of people. One of them is a wedding, And the second one is a funeral. And that's what Jesus makes reference to today. He makes reference to the children recognizing in some way the importance of what adults do. They wanted to celebrate like the adults do. And so they played the flutes and they they, joyful music and they invited people to come and dance as they would do at a wedding. And at other times, they played uh, dirges, they played sorrowful music, they played slow music, not dancing music at all, and as, it would, as the adults did when it came time for a funeral. And so they wanted to play in their lives as they dreamed perhaps of being later on in their life. And so it was a joyful occasion. Now, I'm so asking you to go back into your own lives and say, hmm, When you were children, what did you dream of doing? And how did you act that out? I know in myself, uh, I wanted to be a priest from the time I was young. I grew up in a very Catholic family. Uh, We were 10 kids. um, And uh, we lived maybe about four blocks from church. And it was, we always, the church was the center of so many things that we did. And um, so when I grew up, there were times when we, I would gather people, gather kids around me. Come on, I said, let's say mass. And then I would, I would set things up to say mass and then someone come up, why can't I be the priest today? Why do you always have to be the priest? Why can't I be the priest today? But we gathered people together and, 
And uh, wow, that was really something. And it became, it became a reality later on in my life when I entered the seminary and went on and did my studies and became a priest and a missionary. So it was a fulfillment, if you want, of a, of a dream that I had as a kid. Another one, I loved to go watch airplanes. We weren't too far from the little airport that we had. There would be little Piper Cub planes flying in and out, and I used to go down and watch them. Well, I actually became a pilot. There are a lot of things that we do in our lives when we're children that are a reflection of maybe something that will happen in our life later on. But whatever it, did, whatever it is, we want to play as if we were already there in our adult years. And Jesus tells us this for two reasons. One is the reason because people were saying, well, look at John the Baptist. He plays like he's a prophet from the Lord, but he's stern and he's rigid and people don't like him. They say he has a, de a de demon. And then there's myself who comes here be joyful with people. I go to weddings with people. I celebrate with people. I join people with me in, in all kinds of walks and things like that. And I teach them a new way of, of, of trying to look at God. And, uh, and they say that there's something wrong with me too. It's the way that people look at. We look at others and we judge them. But we know that uh, God calls us to come to fulfillment in our lives. And in a way, that's what this time of Lent is about, coming to fulfillment, coming to, to be able to rejoice fully in our lives with all of the graces that God has given to us. And so we celebrate that over and over. In our world today, one of the things that's celebrated, we know, is the Feast of Thanksgiving. And we wonder how many people actually take time that day in our day here to give thanks to God. That was the original meaning of it. Give thanks to God for all the, the gifts and the graces and the wonderful things that we have in our lives. Another one is the feast of uh, Christmas. And that's a Christian feast, but we've turned it into Santa Claus and all kinds of other things that are there that turn people's uh, ideas and minds and everything away, away from the fact that it is the birthday of Jesus, the Savior. Jesus who came to bring us fullness in our lives. Another feast that is celebrated by the world and they've forgotten perhaps the meaning of it is Easter. And so we have these things where, where they have a, a profound religious meaning for us and yet we know that other people just don't want to see it the way we do. But we, the way we see it is the way we celebrate it. And so at this time, what are we doing? We're preparing to celebrate. Uh, when you had a wedding, at your own wedding years ago, you took a long time to prepare that, didn't you? Huh? Took a long time to get that dress and to get all the rest of the stuff that is, that is there for the wedding. But the important thing was the two of you. But all of those other things around came in to make it such a beautiful day. We know that uh, here in our lives now, we're taking this time of Advent to prepare ourselves. It's like, it's like a bride looking for her, the perfect wedding dress. It's like the groom looking around and saying, who is going to be with me to celebrate this? Uh, that's what this time of Advent is about. And so we ask God to continue to help us, to continue to find the fullness of graces that God wants to give us in this time of Advent, so that when the feast day does come, uh, feast day of Christmas does come, we'll be able to celebrate it as the birthday of Jesus, as the birthday of our Savior, as the birthday of our God who came down and clothed himself in our human flesh in order to give us the goodness of God's divinity, not just for a few years, but for the rest of our lives, which are endless because our lives, we were created in God's image and God is endless. Let us come before our God and ask our God for 
all the different things that we would like to be in our lives as we seek fullness of our, in our own lives and in our world and those around us. And for those of you who are parents and your children and your grandchildren, all of the beautiful blessings that God can bring into our world through who we are and how we live our faith. And so we ask for God's blessings upon our Pope. We celebrate today the Feast of Saint Pope Damascus and we ask God to bless Pope Francis at the time of this difficult time in our world today when he helps us to look at things perhaps in a different way in looking through God's eyes. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of the children in our world today, the children from two to 92, as we say, all of us who are children of God, and we pray that we will be able to have a life of holiness and a life of joy, uh, recognizing the difficulties we will have to surpass in order to grow up. But we ask God for the fullness of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of those who are suffering, especially of the COVID-19 virus, that God will help us to find a solution to those sufferings, not only for our friends, but for everyone. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of those who have never heard about Jesus Christ. What a beautiful gift we have, the gift of our faith. There are so many people in the world today who know nothing about Jesus. And so we ask God that the light of the gospel will come to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all of those who have preceded us into the eternal life, the life of God, that uh, we may find a way to be able to cooperate with God's graces and to join them for all eternity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask God to bless all of the intentions that each one of us has brought here with her or him today, that God may bless all of the actions of our lives, allow us to find uh, grace in every corner and every nook and cranny of our life. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And loving God, we bring all of this to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And today's mass is being celebrated for Jose Julio Correa. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed For the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with this sacrifice we offer you this morning with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sinfulness. Pray, my sisters and brothers, pray that this, your sacrifice and mine, may be acceptable to our almighty God. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your divine mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold Jesus' coming. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. 
John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find, he may find us watching in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with angels and archangels and all the hosts of heaven, we join their exultant song as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, he blessed it, and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edgar, our Bishop, and all those who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Pope of Damascus, whom we celebrate this day, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ, for through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us turn to our loving Father and pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who once said to your apostles, and today say to us, peace I leave you, peace is my gift to you. Look not upon our sinfulness, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may indeed that peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.
with that peace of Christ in your heart, please show a sign of that peace to others. God's blessings to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we dare to eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sinfulness of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. At this time, you can make a spiritual communion. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen. In the Communion Antiphon, we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change the mortal bodies to conform to his glorified body.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and her hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of this sacrament has ended this morning. Now let us go and live our faith in joy. Amen. And have a good day, everyone. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For increased virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The first offer mystery, the agony in the garden. The fruit of the mystery is sorrow for sin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, <coughs> now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. The fruit of the mystery is purity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, O Lord, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. The fruit of the mystery is courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. The fruit of the mystery is patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. The fruit of the mystery is perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, and we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal salvation, grant to beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And for all the holy souls in purgatory, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. And through the mercy of God, may they rest in peace. Amen. Thank you.